hexadecimal. If you know what a hexagon is, that's a six-sided polygon. And decimal, well, I've used the word decimal several times now, that's base 10. So hexadecimal is 6 plus 10, which makes 16, or base 16. Now, <clears throat> base 10, that's what we're used to. And I've we've gone over binary, which is base 2. And hopefully binary was pretty simple for you. I think it's easier simply because we're, instead of using 10 digits, we're using 2. What could be simpler than 2? Well, maybe um, 1 digit, but that, that might get interesting. Or actually ineffective. Base 16. So we're going to have 16 values. Let me just show you how to count in base 16. Ba base 10, 0, 1. You know what? Let's use this tool. Base 10, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those are all of the digits that we will have on a scooter odometer. Uh, base 2, well, we only have two digits. So 0, 1. And then base 16, well, we need to go up to 16. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you may think 10, but look at 10 for a second here. 10 has two digits. All right? Remember, the whole point of having these base values is so that we can represent the value using one digit. And all of a sudden, I've gone to two digits here, which is illegal. And unless we're base 10, then that makes sense. Yeah, we do gain that extra digit. And we've talked about that at length. So what am I going to do? I've run out of digits here. I have spanned all of the you know, base 10 symbols that we're used to. So what do we do? Well, we steal from the alphabet, and it can be uppercase, it can be lowercase, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll try to stick to uppercase as much as possible. So we go A, B, C, D, E, F, like that. Okay? That is base 16. Notice there are 16 values. I can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So in your head, you just have to get used to it and memorize that A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. Why do we use hexadecimal, especially in computers? Well, we'll talk about that in a future video, but it is actually important. So uh, stick with me here. Let's uh, pretend we have a scooter odometer. It's base 16, driving down the road. And let's say we have D, uh, how about 3D, there you go, <laughs> 3D uh, miles. We drive one more mile, well, that D plus 1 will change to an E. Drive one more mile, that E plus 1 will change to an F. Drive one more mile, well, the F will roll back around to 0. But then F will bump its neighbor, which is a 3, and so that will be 3 plus 1 equals 4. All right, hopefully that is, makes sense and straightforward. We saw several examples with that with binary values, also with decimal values. It works the same with base 16 values. In fact, remember what the word base means. Okay, with binary, uh, we had 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, and these are digit values, so if I gave you the binary number like so, you could calculate that into decimal by thinking to the 0, to the 1, to the 2, to the 3, to the 4, 2 to the 5, and the base value never changes, it's, it's always 2, right? Base 10, same idea, if I gave you 3, 9, 8, 2, five dollars well that is uh, 10 to the zero which is one dollar bills plus 10 to the one which are ten dollar bills 10 to the two which are hundred dollar bills <clears throat> I could give you these give you these dollar bills and you would be satisfied that I uh, gave you them or gave you that amount of money 10 to the three 10 to the four same idea here the base is 10 in this case, the base in this case is 2. Well, hexadecimal, hopefully no surprises here. Um, this is 16 to the 0. That's not a 16. This is a 16 to the 0. 
and then 16 to the 1, 16 to the 2, 16 to the 3, 16 to the 4. All right, hopefully, hopefully straightforward. Remember what the binary values actually went as far as saying we can think of them as their base, which we should, but this is really 1, this is really uh, 2, this is 4, this is 8. We're just multiplying by 2 every time because we gain an extra 2 every time. 16, 32, and then down here we have the 10s. Um, so this is 1, this is 10, this is 100, this is 1,000, this is 10,000. So hopefully you get the idea there. Well, if we want to do the same with hexadecimal, <clears throat> it is uh, ones again, 16, and then 256. Let's see if I can write these small enough to group them together. Uh, 4096. I can tell we're going to have to separate these, make it a little more distinct or clear what's with what. Whew. All right, and then uh, six, five, five, three, six. So <clears throat> let's do a little exercise we've done before. If I gave you the numbers eight, four, two, and I said, that's money in your bank account. Do you want me to interpret it as binary, decimal, or hex? Which base system would you like me to interpret it as? Pause the video, think about it, a little review exercise. Okay, hopefully you came to the conclusion that base 16 is most ideal because uh, in base 2, I would give you two $1 bills and four $2 bills and eight $4 bills. And so... Well, actually, <laughs> in binary, <laughs> we'd need some zeros and ones here. <laughs> but hopefully you get the idea that the binary, we don't count very high here. And, and this is an act actually an illegal binary number. Uh, but decimal, I'd give you two $1 bills, four $10 bills, and eight $100 bills. Not bad, $842. But in base 16, I would give you two $1 bills, four $16 bills, and then eight two hundred and fifty six dollar bills, which is very ideal. Whatever eight times two fifty six plus four times sixteen plus two times one is going to be much greater than any of those values represented illegally in base two or legitimately in base ten. So there you go, base sixteen. I also said not too many videos ago we can have any base numbering system of there's octal, which is base eight, and you could have base seven, you could do base 23 if you wanted to it doesn't really matter and basically it's it's just uh, at what point do we roll over and then what's the base value for that number but it turns out in computer science that binary is how things are actually represented in the computer but we use base 16 a lot because it's closely related to binary numbers All right there's a that's actually a very important fact if you notice here 1 16 256, 4096. Well, we did some large binary numbers that got up to 256, and if we kept going, we would eventually hit 4096. And anyway, that that relationship is important, and we'll look at that in future videos.